As part of the Himalayan birding trip this year, I am visiting East Sikkim. It's the month of April and I am surprised to see fresh snow on the road towards Thambi viewpoint. This is the famous zigzag road above Zuluk that goes towards Nathang Valley through Thambi viewpoint. As we ventured out early in the morning, the weather didn't look good. The mountain tops were covered in dark clouds. But up here it's not that bad. On some of the part it looked really misty though. As we gained altitude, the snow cover became thicker and the cars were struggling to go through. Finally we reached the titanic viewpoint where it felt unsafe for the cars to go any further. The scenery at this viewpoint and around was just too much to take in. I was looking around in awe, soon our guide Suraj spotted something. White-browed falvetas. They posed quite well and I got to click some good photos up close. Light was not optimal. But the snow-covered vegetation worked as a giant reflector. The images came out well as a result. Our main target bird is the Himalayan Monal. So we started looking for them. The occasional sighting of the laughing thrushes were welcoming. A couple of black-faced laughing thrush sat and chirped on a rhododendron bush, breaking the silence of the mystical snowscape around. The snow pigeons woke up and was about to start their morning routine. The roadside concrete wall seemed to be their refuge for the night. They spread their wings and stretched, getting prepared for the long day ahead. As view of the zigzag road opened up, I set up my camera to take a time lapse. This captures the mood of a landscape a little better than just a photo. The search for the Himalayan Monal was on and we hiked up and down the titanic viewpoint a number of times. But there was no sign of the bird yet. Suraj knew his task and kept looking for them. But it was my fellow birder Suman Kar who spotted some movement in the bamboo thickets. It was certainly something much bigger than a monal. A species of wild mountain goats called the Himalayan Goral. This cute fella ran around the stiff mountain cliffs and was quite a treat to watch.
The animal is listed as near threatened on the IUCN red list because the population is declining significantly due to habitat loss and hunting for meat. Another threat to them is the free-ranging dogs. We saw some dogs patrolling these mountain roads and often chased off the animals. While I was filming the Goral, my team spotted the first sign of a possible pheasant-like bird. Are these footprints of a monal? We were about to find out. The first sight was brief and distant, covered in fog. The bird stood on a rock for a while and then decided to take off. Energized by the first sighting, we started looking for it again. Soon there were monals everywhere. Some were foraging beside the rhododendron bushes, while some appeared at the roadside to surprise us. This was quite a close encounter with the monal could have been a beautiful photo opportunity but the light was opposite and we couldn't get to see this vibrantly colored bird in its full glory. Alpine accenters were quite common here, posed up close before beautiful snowy background. Alpine accenters are the only birds where the female song seems to attract the male, while in others it's the other way around. The rodents here look a little different. They are called Himalayan Pikas. This one stood guard before his burrow as if he is guarding the entrance. Weather conditions here changes in a matter of minutes. After 10.30 in the morning, thick clouds covered the entire area and we had to get back to our homestay. In the next part of my Himalayan birding trip, I am going to share some information about our stay here at Sikkim and our birding experience at Padamchen. Thanks to my friends Suman and Swagata for making this trip a success. From the stage of planning this trip till finalizing, they contributed a lot of efforts. Hope to see you guys in some of my future trips too. All the credits for the amazing bird sightings goes to our guide and an old friend of mine Suraj Rai. A person like him with a positive attitude and a smiling face makes my trips pleasant and memorable ones.